Today, we hook you up with the one and only piece of technology you will ever need on a desert island. Welcome to Geek vs. Geek, where Dave Johnson and Rick Broida compete in a high-stakes tech war of words. I'm your host, Helen Hong. Today, we've got another desert island tech. Let's find out what Dave and Rick think is the one essential piece of gear they cannot live without this week. So, we just caught a boar, and we're going to stick it in the oven okay. and cook it up for dinner. Right. How do you know when it's done? You need a thermometer, <laughs> don't you? Well, this week, I've got the coolest kitchen thermometer ever. It's from a company called iDevices, and it's the Kitchen Thermometer Mini. There's also a larger version, and this is what it looks like. It has this base unit that has a magnet on it, okay. and you just slap it on the side of the oven, oh. or you can put it on the stove. And here is the temperature probe. Wow. Which, and it's on this long metal wiry thing, right? So this is the part that goes into the bore. So you stick that in the bore, <laughs> and then you walk away because up to like 150 feet away, you just pull out your smartphone <laughs> and it tells you the temperature of the bore. And even better, you can set little alarms so that when the bore reaches the temperature you want, your phone lets you know. And then you go, you take the bore out of the oven, and then you have bore and coconut. <laughs> souffle so or whatever you, you eat. So your phone will let you know when your bore is well done, just as well done as you want. Or medium rare or anything you like. Got you can it. choose the kind of meat or fish or whatever and it chooses the right temperature and it just lets you know when it's done. Okay. Now there's different versions of this. This one's 40 bucks. There's a large, slightly larger version that actually has two probes. So you can put two temperatures in two different parts of the bore oh. or the bore and the trout and it'll keep track on your phone. And there's even a barbecue version, but we're on the island, we don't have a barbecue. Right. So what I have this week, I'm actually very excited about. Uh, this is the OnePlus One smartphone. And this is an Android phone that is made by a startup company that is out of China. And what's unique about this phone is that you can see it's a very large screen. Mm -hmm. How big is that screen? That's, that's a, enormous. Yeah, that's a five and a half inch screen. So it actually kind of crosses over into phablet Territory. Oh. Is, is that mean tablet. a fabulous tablet? Is that what that stands for? <laughs> sure. No, sure. it's okay. a fat tablet. It's a fat, no. The couple things that are unique about this are that, first of all, the price. For $299, you get this phone unlocked, and you can kind of take it to the carrier of your choice. It has not only the big screen, but a blazing fast processor, lots and lots of bells and whistles. It runs the Cyanogen mod version of Android, which all the Android fanboys love. And there's really no other phone that quite matches it in terms of bang for the buck. $299 for the 16 gigabyte version, $349 for the 64 gigabyte version. Wow. So you're talking about some serious power for an unlocked phone. And because it's a GSM phone, you can use it with, with AT&T or T-Mobile or any of their little small offshoot carriers. And you don't have to deal with a two-year contract. This is a really impressive phone, and I am not a fan of Android yeah, phones. I, I think the interesting thing about this is not just the fact that it's such a relatively inexpensive phone to buy unlocked, but I mean, look at that. It's, it's like thin. really thin, yeah. it's fairly light, and it's got a huge screen. It's really impressive, actually. Yeah, that was the first thing I noticed about it when you when you lifted it. It's Look at how thin that is. Yeah, so this is, I'm very excited about this. I think that anybody who's shopping for an Android phone would be crazy not to look at this. What did you guys think of Dave and Rick's picks this week? We want to hear from you, so let us know on Facebook, Twitter, or email and we will see you next time on Geek vs. Geek.